Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me Keith Johnston. In the presence of the Chairman of the High Committee of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the club organised the 16th horse race meeting of the season, which was held in the Cups of Lexus, sponsored by Ibrahim Khalil Kanu Group of Companies and the late Hassan bin Saleh Al Ruehi. The race, which held at the club's race track at Al Rafa area in Sakir, was also attended by a number of their Highnesses, representatives of the sponsoring companies and horse racing fans. The race comprised eight events. Trophies were presented to the winners at the end of the race.
under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The second Gulf Downstream Association, the GDA, International Downstream Conference and Exhibition, will be held from the 13th to the 15th February 2023 at Exhibition World at Bahrain. The event has been organised by the GDA and the M3 company in cooperation and coordination with the Ministry of Oil and Environment and with the support of various Bahraini, Gulf and international companies. The Minister of Oil and Environment and Special Envoy for Climate Affairs, Dr Mohammed bin Mubarak bin Dana, expressed his thanks for His Royal Highness's unwavering support to the Kingdom's oil and gas sector as part of the Kingdom's comprehensive development. Dr Bandana noted that His Royal Highness's generous patronage of the conference emphasises its importance as one of the global forums in the Middle East in the oil, gas and petrochemical sector. He commended the cooperation between the GDA and other organising agencies and the Ministry of Oil and Environment in arranging the event which is a leading strategic platform in the refining sector. The Minister explained that the conference will be a strategic platform and an excellent opportunity to benefit from investment projects and creative innovations in addition to discussing a number of specialised topics to meet various technological, financing and manufacturing challenges as well as exchanging information, experiences and best practices in this field. A Bahraini high-level delegation has successfully concluded its participation in the World Economic Forum annual meeting held in Switzerland from January the 16th to the 20th under the theme Cooperation in a Fragmented World. Led by Sustainable Development Minister Nur bint Ali al Khalif, the delegation highlighted Bahrain's unique investment opportunities to global decision-makers in various business sectors and the Kingdom's achievements under the Economic Recovery Plan. Minister al Khalif participated in three plenary sessions on formulating the future, how women are shaping sustainability across sectors, between liquidity and fragility, reforming in the MENA, and accelerating clean energy. She also took part in a plenary session on climate change in the Middle East, along with industry and commerce minister, and in another on sustainable and digital FDI, alongside EDB's CEO. The delegation also held multiple strategic meetings and networking events on the sidelines of the forum with the aim of attracting more investments to the Kingdom to contribute further job creation and boosting the economy. A large crowd continued to visit the Bahraini farmers market as citizens, residents and tourists flow to Badea Botanical Gardens amidst a lively atmosphere. The market, in its 10th edition, offers a treasure trove of freshly harvested produce from farmers across the kingdom. 31 farmers, 4 agricultural companies, 5 nurseries, 4 apiaries, 4 activities specialised in dates and 20 productive families are participating in the 10th edition of the farmers market in coordination with the Ministry of Social Development. The market had 83 agricultural products ranging from locally grown leafy and fruit products, with the farmers selling about 265 tonnes of products. Bahrain Farmers Market targets promoting Bahrain's agricultural products and highlighting the development taking place in Bahrain's agricultural sector. It also aims to contribute to improving the Bahraini farmers' income through a marketing system prepared by the Agriculture and Marine Resources to assist in meeting the farmers' aspirations. The market, which sold 265 tonnes of local produce in its previous edition, acts as a direct link between local farmers and consumers. The previous edition had the participation of 43 farmers, agricultural companies and nurseries and attracted more than 70,000 visitors in about 14 weeks. The Labour Market Regulatory Authority, the LMRA, conducted a joint inspection campaign in the Southern Governorate in coordination with the Nationality, Passports and Resident Affairs, the NPRA, of the Ministry of Interior and the Southern Governor Police Directorate. The campaign included a number of shops, work sites and labour gathering places in the Governorate. The Labour Market Regulatory Authority renewed its call on all members of the society to support the efforts of government agencies in addressing illegal labour practices by reporting violations. The events of Festival City with STC continue at Bahrain International Circuit until the 2nd of February. Organised by Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, BTEA, the festival features a wide range of entertainment offerings suitable for the entire family. More in this report. 
held at the Bahrain International Circuit. The biggest and most prominent annual recreational festival continues to thrill visitors from Bahrain and abroad. The fourth and largest edition of Bahrain Festival City with STC promises fun and excitement for everyone to enjoy, with over 45 live performances, an outdoor ice rink, carnival games, rides, and an outdoor cinema, as well as a designated outdoor space for restaurants and a market for made in Bahrain products. The festival, which is an extension to Bahrain's festive season, delivers a wide range of activities and events that visitors, tourists and residents can enjoy and contribute to bolstering tourism, revitalizing business activities and harnessing Bahrain's tourism capabilities, in addition to serving Bahrain's aspiration of becoming a favorable tourist destination in the region.